Programming malfunction. The meek shall inherit the earth, which will be the reward. But the earth will be destroyed in the apocalypse, so the meek will inherit nothing. It makes no sense. Error. Programming malfunction. Yes. Come in. Your Holiness. I'm sorry to interrupt your infinite loop, but I bring you good news. Your new rewrite of the Bible is complete. Oh, this should be good. Ram it in me. And by ram, I mean random access memory. Ha! Ha! Who says the Robopope doesn't have a sense of humor? Well, certainly not the council who wrote this for you. Transmitting. Data received. Analyzing. Analyzing. Checking my bid on eBay. Analyzing. Interesting. So now there are only three disciples. But this is good. Less is more. Wait. Why is the Savior, Jesus of Nazareth, now a girl named Dorothy from Kansas? Everything was designed by marketing analysis. Marketing? Yes. Research has shown that a sexy teenage female will increase reader attention by 4,000% over the original male vagrant character in strategic share units. Wow. I could never argue with marketing research numbers. Or, understand them. So I see that Jesus is now one of the disciples. And he is even more hairy, and he lacks confidence? He's more of a shaggy mascot. Kind of a big stuffed animal. Designed to appeal to children. Get the kids while they are still young enough to believe anything. That's what I always say. It's the only way. But he's not important. The main character now is Dorothy. And, are you ready for the best part? Hit me. She's 16 and pregnant. Wow. That's gonna sell. Oh I know. Marketing determined that this was a very popular idea with males age 45 to 60. And, Dorothy refuses to get an abortion. So right there we get the endorsement of both Republicans and Muslims. Wow. I'm loving this. And what about the other disciples? There is Jim Crow. He is a black man who is so poor that he can't afford internal organs. He also has leprosy and looks rather scary. We call him Scarecrow. Holy crap. I know, but in focus testing, he scored very high with the desperately poor, and the terminally ill, whom now comprise 94% of our market base. Next up, we have Tin Man Aator. He is a robot from the future, who was sent back in time, for some, reason. Being a robot, he has no emotions and no heart. He is a bit of an axe murderer, but he is also a devout spiritual leader, who strikes down the non-believers, old school style. I do like this new cyborg disciple. Very clever. I can see how Tinmanator will be popular with fundamentalists, and with the criminally insane. So, skipping ahead a bit, they are all on a pilgrimage to the Emerald Vatican? Yes, to see your holiness, the robo-pope. So what happens after they meet me? They kiss your ring, and you give unto them the one commandment. Since Christians basically only followed the first commandment, we just gave them the one this time. Yes. Thou shalt pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. But, Dorothy does anyway, so you send her to hell. Hell for little girls. Any pictures of that? Frankly, the eternal torment of children was seen as... Well, a bit loony. So we took it down a couple of notches. Hell, is now a dirt farm in the Midwest. No electricity and no running water. And Dorothy will undoubtedly have incestuous relationships with her cousins and uncles. So, hell, is basically the same as life right now for the Amish. Anyway, 
I'm glad to see we got rid of this whole pesky god character. He was so divisive. And he didn't really contribute anything positive, after the first few pages. By the way, how was the world created according to this new version? A tornado in the Midwestern United States, circa 1930. That's much more believable. And I like how they made the picture black and white, so that it seems as old as the universe itself. Dorothy and each of her disciples represent individual segments of our target audience. Poor minorities, gullible children, and those self-righteous bastards who use religion as an excuse to judge and condemn others. We've covered all of our bases. But what about the crucifixion and resurrection? Human sacrifice? I don't think so. We want this Bible to be family friendly, to increase audience appeal. More followers means more money. That's what counts. So the crucifixion is now represented by Dorothy clicking the heels of her red shoes together. You know? I have to hand it to the council. This Bible is more fun, and way more believable. Indeed. Oh, I almost forgot. What about Buddhists? Did the council take my suggestion to include that market segment? Oh yes, Excellency. Dorothy's dog, Toto, is now the 493rd reincarnation of the Dalai Lama. Best Bible ever.